Alright guys, Mr. G here. We are back with more Foundation, the absolutely gorgeous medieval city builder. And today we're going to build the final monument you can make in the game, the monastery. Now, you guys all need more wine and honey and herbs in your life. And the only way to get those luxury items is via the monastery. And as our ongoing series of showing all of these buildings being created and designed, in time-lapse video because these monuments take a very, very long time to build in-game because every single resource needs to either be traded for, produced, put in a warehouse, brought to the build site, and then actually built by the builders. First pro tip I'm going to give you, do not promote builders. Anybody that you want to be really productive, you should leave as a serf because serfs have significantly less needs than other characters, meaning they're going to have a lot more time to do your building. So I always like to make sure that my builders are left at surf status so that they have plenty of time for construction. But, they're going to get it done. Eventually. Uh, I'd like you guys to share in the comments what your longest build project was in Foundation. Somebody was telling me that they constructed a bridge which took over five in-game years to build. I think it just took a silly amount of stone. I think that's one of the biggest struggles is just getting all of the resources onto the job site. And there we go, we just finished up our apiary. And I think one of my problems might be that I've promoted a lot of my transporters to citizens. Well, not citizens, but uh, commoners. However, I am running the efficient warehouse mod, which allows me to store 200 of every resource instead of simply 100. Uh, as well as allowing us to assign six transporters per warehouse instead of the usual four. Highly recommend it if you just want to save space and not run so many warehouses in your city. Let's put a little road sign in there as well. Eventually when this thing gets done, we're going to need to add a few other buildings to support it. And I will tell you how the monastery basically functions, because it does have some elements that make it similar to the keep. How much longer is this going to take? Somebody get in there. Let's see. Can we get this done, guys? I almost wish there was a way we could pay more money to expedite the build process. But I guess that's part of the things I love about this game is that when you finish a monument like this, it does feel like you finished something monumental because it didn't just get done random amount of time. It took ages and ages to complete. It feels like a real citywide project. If you've ever read any of the books by Ken Follett, like Pillars of the uh, Pillars of the Earth, um, or any of his books, they're great, just epic novels of, you know, constructing a cathedral in medieval times. And then his second one is all about, what, constructing a massive bridge. You know, some of the writing's a little bit cheesy, but I love the setting, and I love anything medieval. He throws a decent amount of entertainment in there, as well as some historical realism. You learn a lot about architecture at the time. Highly recommend going to check it out if that interests you. Give Ken Follett a Google. And now we've, we're finally in a storm, yet this is still taking so much longer to finish up the end of this thing. You look at the building and you're almost like, is it done? Is it ever going to be done? <laughs> Any second. Come on. Come on, guys. We just We have a vineyard to do. We have this little bridge piece that we decided to add on. Maybe next time I build a little bit smaller first, and then we add more pieces later. Uh, I do love watching this storm happen, though, and roll over. At least they finally modded storms, so they don't take quite so long at this point. If this ever finishes, you can uh, see the end of this. Come on. Come on. Any second. God, I love the scaffolding that they put into this game. It is just so absolutely gorgeous and well done. Now, nearly, nearly going to be finished up. All right, so we are at about 95% completion at this point. I just need my builders to stop going to the tavern. I'm kidding. They don't go to the tavern because they're only serfs and only citizens. And knights and soldiers actually go to the tavern which we talked about in the last episode, but we're nearly done. And I'm going to cover with you guys just some basic ways in which monasteries function. 
Is this storm ever going to end? And are these guys ever going to finish this? Just build it. I don't know about you guys, but I actually run foundation in the background while I'm doing other work because it takes, you know, so long to do projects like this. I'm actually doing There we go. Storm's done. We are almost done. Come on, man. Get a few more pieces of polished stone in there. And let's finish this thing up. And there we have it. So now we're going to go ahead and plant some vines, just like you would with a wheat farm. So pretty familiar to anyone who's already done that. And then we've got to assign some dorms to our building parts so that our, uh, our monks have somewhere to live. Uh, and then we need to go ahead and get some workers in here. Now, strangely, the herb garden you can assign workers to from the worker menu. However, normally a monastery is going to function like the keep in that you're just going to click, you know, seed monk to monastery. Now, I was a little confused at first because I had unemployed villagers and I couldn't get them to go into the monastery until I realized they were females and uh, monks are super sexist. And uh, so, yeah, has to be dudes. But finally, it's functioning. We're getting some people hired in there. You can see we've got a monk working on bees. We've got our vineyard planted. Uh, we've put in a granary there so we can store the herbs, the honey, and the wine that they are going to produce from our monastery. Uh, we also need to go ahead and put a well in there so that our monks don't spend all of their time walking all the way down the street to get to the nearest well. They're also going to need that for the vineyard. So highly recommend plopping a little well right in there. Let's get that done. And then you simply just need to chalk this thing full of monks like you would with the keep, except they will actually be working on site rather than running off on errands for the king like our soldiers do. So there you can see, can't put this villager in there because she's a female. So they're going with historical realism there. And uh, that is that. So my next video on foundation is going to be a massive castle building video with some mods. Uh, like and subscribe if you guys want to see how this city turns out when I'm finally done with it. It's currently sitting at about 390 villagers. I really look forward to seeing where I can go with it. Alright guys, I'm going to catch you later. You be good out there foundating. Mr. G out.